Hello, hello boys and girls, this is Anders Hill of course, and oh yes, I'm gonna teach you guys how to calculate or give your Minecraft more ROM memory. Basically make it run smoother, uh, that uh, basically means you give it more of your ROM, and uh, basically if you only have 2 gigabytes of ROM or less, this won't work, and if you have the wrong version of Java installed, for example if you have a 64-bit Java or 64-bit Windows and you have a 32-bit Java, this will basically give you an error message and you need to google up and find out how to get the, re, uh, the correct version of Java. If you're young and don't really know how to do it, ask your parents. If, you, if you're if you older and don't really know how to do it, make sure to google it anyways. Uh, because uh, I don't want to spend time explaining something that will only happen to very very few, maybe one in a thousand in a video basically. <laughs> so, so no hard feelings guys, but just use Google and that will help you out the most. So you want to start off with going inside the video description. Uh, you're gonna see a text that looks exactly like this. You want to select it and you want to copy it. Uh, then you want to create a new text document by right clicking your desktop and then selecting new and then text document. Double click the text document to open it. Then copy paste in the text from my video description. As you can see here it says Anders in a space. You want to delete it just like that and enter your computer name. How do you find out what your computer is named? You click your Windows icon like this, and if you're having trouble seeing what I do, I suggest uh, watching this video in, in 720p or HD, that helps a lot. Then you wanna, uh, you see it where it says computer, you wanna right click that and select properties, and you're gonna get this. And here you can actually see how much raw memory you have, so you can see that, and you can also see your PC name, and mine is of course Anders, so, I just write Anders, here we go, not L in the end, just Anders, uh, and you select file and then save as, then you write what you want to name this start icon, so is it because it's gonna start Minecraft I'm gonna write of course start Minecraft. I hope I spell that right, it doesn't really matter how what you spell it, but you also, something very important, you want a dot bat in the end, B-A-T, and then you want to select save as all files, or save as type all files, and then save to your desktop, done, and now you're gonna have a file that's named start minecraft that looks exactly like this, uh, it might look a bit different on your computer depending if you have Windows XP, Windows Vista or Windows 7, but I think they're gonna look pretty much the same. I think uh, Windows XP has a black button. Uh, but when you press it, this is gonna happen, a black little bat box or CMD box will pop up and your Minecraft will pop up. So log into Minecraft and there we go, go into single player and let's just pick a world. And we got some annoying sounds. Turn that off. Oh, couldn't turn that off. That's annoying. <laughs> Here we go. And press F3. And now you can see in the upper right corner that I have 1820 megabits of, uh, of memory that I can use and 981 that's alkylated. That means that I have twice as much memory as I usually have. And for all of you guys, if when you press this button, all you get is a blink and a Java message, a warning message, that means your Java is the wrong version. Uh, basically, that means that you have to get the correct version of Minecraft or, or Java, of course. So you have to change, uh, you have to fix that basically. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope this helped you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.